here we have a hard drive that came in for repair a 2.5 inch drive and a customer said that the drive is not powering on it's not being detected by the computer and he needs pictures from the drive so the first thing i want to do is plug the hard drive on the docking station here and usually the docking station lights up blue when the hard drive is being recognized but i do not see the light coming on totally off so it's like i did not plug in a hard drive So we know that the hard drive is not being detected. No movement. The drive is not spinning. It's not being detected. And the light on the docking station is not even showing. So it's like I did not plug the hard drive in. Let me just remove the screws quick. And we'll take a look at the motherboard so we do not waste any time. A lot of you appreciate the fact that we do not like to waste time. We just go directly to the repair. So I disassembled the board and we have it right here and the hard drive looks something like this and now we're going to take a look at the motherboard and see if we see anything obvious. The first thing I want to do is measure that fuse before we do anything else. Return continuity mode. Is it continuous? And no. The fuse is blown. It's not continuous. What caused that fuse to blow? It could be a surge. It could be using the wrong adapter. It could be a lot of things, but the fuse is blown. On the bigger brother, the 3.5 inch, usually we have diodes that also go bad, protection diodes. We do not have one here. Let's measure this one. Do we have a short on this one? We do not. And anything else? Let's just quickly go over the board. Right now I'm using the anti-glare light and not the ring light and that's why everything looks so saturated. The colors, they look so good. If I am to use the ring light and not the anti-glare light, let me show you how that will look. It looks like that. If I switch back to the anti-glare light, maybe we can look here. Between this and this. I like this more. For this scenario anti-glare all the way okay and the details on this v2 microscope i'm amazed every time i work under this microscope if you're new to the channel and you do not already know you can purchase that v2 microscope off our site Log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, and you can buy all the tools that you need. We carry everything. And almost always, we ship out packages same day. So let's go ahead and replace this fuse. I need to turn on the fume extractor. Otherwise, I'm going to get a call from my mother because she watches the videos only to see if I turned on the fume extractor or not. It doesn't matter if I'm seven years old or 100 years old she's gonna call and ask why i don't have my fume extractor on you do not want to inhale the smoke and nobody loves you like your mother even if you don't agree with your mother and you have a different idea in your head it's best to just say okay mom okay got it so i do have the 603 resistor right here and I'm thinking that's a 603 size fuse. Zero ohm is first page, first raw. We have books for resistors and capacitors, sizes 201 all the way up to I think 1206. 10 types of books. Just look it up on our site. Is it 603? And yes, same size. Great. And we're going to put that strip back inside the book so we do not misplace it. I do not want to use hot air so we do not end up burning that plastic. For this one, we can use our soldering iron or we can use our hot tweezers. Either one will do. I mean, I know a lot of you do not have hot tweezers, so maybe I should use my soldering iron so I can show you how it's done. There is no video that is going to be a waste of time. 
any video that you watch will have some type of knowledge in it whether it's life experiences or general knowledge or electronics knowledge every video will have some type of knowledge in it like when I go house hunting on Sundays some viewers are not interested in watching house hunting but the way you have to think is that's knowledge that's a form of knowledge do not act like a horse with blinders you can only see straight having knowledge about what's going on in the housing market is a form of knowledge and you should always seek knowledge it doesn't matter what type of knowledge the more knowledge you have the wiser you are the more wisdom you have and any form of knowledge cannot hurt it doesn't matter if it's real estate or house hunting or electronics or whatever Like a person who tells you, I only like strawberry flavor, ice cream. Have you tried chocolate? No. Have you tried vanilla? No. Have you tried pistachio? No. But I only like strawberry. Close-minded. All right, so we're good. Let's add some flux and go over it one more time. We can probably do this. Add some solder here. And just go over it like this. And like this. And we're all done. Hopefully that fixes the problem or the problem could be more involved. Nobody knows. Meter in diet mode. And we know that we do not have a short here. So the line is not short into ground and that's good. But let me just fix this solder spike on the cap. I must have touched the cap by mistake and did not have enough flux on the board. So now it's nice and round, okay? Just so that we can save the wall from complaint. And the drive is not spinning. You should have already known that something else on the board would cause the fuse to blow. Not always. If you have a power surge, the fuse will blow. If you connect the wrong adapter to the drive, the fuse will blow. If you had a bad power supply, the fuse will blow. So there's an external factor to the fuse blowing. And there's also an internal factor, something else on the board that caused that fuse to blow. So that's what the problem is right now, something internal. And that's what we have to figure out. Maybe we can look under a thermal camera and see if we can figure it out quick. But what I want to do is measure that fuse again to see if it's still good or if it blew again meter in continuity mode and did that fuse blow again no the fuse is still good so either my docking station stopped working or there's something else wrong with the board let me try another SATA adapter because sometimes things fail at the wrong time like the docking station if it failed then it failed at the wrong time let's try it like this with this adapter here and since I do not have the screws on the board I need to hold it so I can press it down on the hard drive and I have a USB extension cable plugged into a computer and let's see and the hard drive is not spinning the hard drive is not spinning nothing So our docking station is good. What else could be causing the problem? Right now, if we cannot locate the culprit or fix the board, then we're going to have to order another board, a similar one. Uh, we're going to transfer over the firmware chip. And that way we can make the hard drive work and extract data. Okay, so I see heat in two areas. And I would say that heat is abnormal. Here, let me show you. So look at this, we have a heat spot right here on that big chip and we have a heat spot right over here. What's this? I see it, we got it. We got it. Look at what's heating up. This guy right here. It looks bulged, so we know that this component is bad. But what is this component? That's the question. We do see a burn mark on the board. Look at the pin here. 
and we do see a burn mark right here z a that's all i see z a i'm trying to look up the code z a i just want to see if there is such a code so it looks like a step down converter ax3701 i think i'm gonna pause the video i want to look and see if we can grab a similar chip from any of the donor boards that we have here and i'll be back okay so i've been looking for that component for the past 20 minutes and i'm not able to find it i looked at over 250 drives and i'm not able to locate a fujitsu hard drive i looked at some laptop motherboards and also not able to locate the same component and those motherboards were also inside the hard drive box i looked at them and none of them have that component so right now we have two options we can either order that part if it's not going to take too long because this is an expedited repair or we have to order a similar motherboard and we'll take it from there but that's it nothing we can do right now i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video